Hello, this is Not a Spring Chick, and boy, talk about news. We may have our first king of the United States. If you're looking at me going, king? Well, you know, Congress is, what, inapt and all that stuff, so, you know, it may just be ruled by executive order. Now we may have our first king of the United States. Well, speaking of kings and queens, well, if you want royalty, the Kardashian wedding is happening in Montecito, just outside of Santa Barbara. And if you happen to miss it or didn't quite get your invite, don't worry. There's a four-hour TV special that's coming up. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> and Obama has TSA out showing millionaires and billionaires as terrorists. Oh, I know. And that, uh, that's why we have the newest member of Monty's family who once again proves what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. This is called Shark Obama. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, he attacks everybody, you know, while well, he's in Martha Vineyard playing golf on an exclusive millionaire's only golf course, but he's staying in a multi-million dollar estate, eating at exclusive restaurants only millionaires can get into. He's, he's now had a TSA showing, you know, blonde haired, blue eyed, and uh, a very attractive society women as terrorists now. Mm -hmm. An hour of TV takes 22 minutes out of your life. Uh, I, I, I figure out I've worked on TV since I said for over 60 years. I should have been dead a long time ago, <laughs> according to that. How in the world do they say it takes 22 minutes? Out of, is that a tw an hour show is 22 minutes of actual show? No, or it basically it, it shortens your life by 22 minutes every hour you watch. The problem is what the morons that do the study is don't understand. Most people don't actually watch television. It's an ambient noise taking the place of radio. They used to I mean, I guess, you know, I will go back to B.S. the Bull. You know, B.S. basically, he knew that all those radio shows from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, it killed all of those people that are listening to them. Mm -hmm. That's why they're not here today. Oh, well, maybe the fact they're 80, 90 years old is why they're not here. But. Mm -hmm. And global warming scientists claim that Bush and the Republicans, global warming makes us a target for destruction by aliens from outer space. The Democrats, okay, the Democrats have been trying to make light of it. The only problem is the people are working for NASA. Oh. And this is what Obama has done to NASA now. He's got us an alien, it's a, he's got us an alien outreach program to go along with his, his, uh, Muslim outreach program from NASA, they're, and, they're, and they're trying to be green, so it fits into the fact, well, because we're not green, they may destroy the earth to keep us from destroying other people's worlds. And George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for us not being green. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact this morning, I mean, okay, but uh, Bob Beckel, who's basically, I mean, I don't know, but they, they might as well just get on these shows with the talking voice. Everyone knows that we have to have a green economy to survive in this world. All these other countries are going green. If we don't have a green economy, they pointed out the fact the green is dying in China. They lose three jobs for every one job created in Spain. Uh, they're getting away from green in every country in the world because it destroys the economy of everywhere it goes. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be green, folks. Okay, this, this, you can say this is a green toy because it's made of recycled plastic. The problem is the energy to make this toy is not green, and it can never be green. I think they forget about that part. No, they, they, they just don't care. They're hung up on, we have to go green to save the world. Well, if you paid any attention to the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, the Science Channel, public broadcasting, you would have noticed something. They all have one great big theme. Mm -hmm. It's called, it's happened before and it will happen again. And six dead, one arrested in knife attack on sleepy British Isle. Okay, uh, 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 I hate to tell the Democrats who want to ban on gun control on guns. People get killed by knives. They get killed by baseball bats. They get killed by tuba fours. They're they got to take bats, tuba fours, and knives away from everybody. Also, maybe or maybe cars. Well, cars kill people too, but they want to take cars away from you. They want to have you with electric cars, of which they have now said are too quiet, so you must make an elect you must uh, put a noise on your electric car. So, so people can hear you coming. Yeah. Well, you know, part of it is, is they are pretty quiet. Yeah, but they're quiet because they don't do anything. That's why. I mean, certainly they have a great big pickup, and then, you know, by the time you get down to the end of the block, your energy's going, so you have to push it back. And Obama, lone wolf is the biggest terrorist to nation. Yeah, he's talking about those millionaires and billionaires 
and Tea Party members that are, here's what, well, the only people we can really trust in this country are those people that are being maligned by George Bush and the Republicans, who are the uninvited guests, who are here to do the job that those millionaires and billionaires and George Bush, you know, hire them to do. Well, no, most mom and pop stores and most small businesses don't hire illegal aliens, folks. They tend to hire family members. Mm -hmm. So the illegal aliens are work from um, Tyson Foods, Democrats, Republican Democrats. Uh, uh, we've got Bill Gates, Democrats. Isn't that amazing? We tend to catch all of them. Oh, amazing. Which is why they want them made legal so they can keep working. And Michelle Bachman wishes Elvis happy birthday on his death day. Okay. We're going to try to explain this. Michelle Bachman is given things by her staff to say. So it, when she says something really stupid, you know, what you know is a planned stupidity, it's because somebody in her staff has given it to her, which means her staff is trying to sink her. Because remember, Republican men do not like Republican women. You know, when I first saw that, it made me think of what was happening with, uh, what, uh, Palin. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's well, they, de they deliberately give them things to, to say because they don't, this stuff is not popping out of their head spontaneously. They have, they're given, uh, okay, today, remember to tell people to cheer for Elvis' birthday. Remember to tell people today, you know, that the Soviet Union, uh, USSR is our biggest problem. Well, and it's not like they're going to go verify the information, right? Because it's well, a member no, of their staff they're, just told they're, them. They're deliberately, the, okay. It, uh, okay, here's the way it works is, they didn't fire Dan Rather at CBS because Dan Rather fabricated material. They fired Dan Rather because Dan Rather didn't check on the fabricated material he was given. Mm -hmm. That was the reason for firing him. That's why he couldn't get his job back because they didn't fire him because he lied. They fired him because he didn't do the job he was appointed to do, which was to be the head of the news department. Mm -hmm. And Sugarland likely saved by tour manager's decision. He told them not to go on stage in this windstorm. Oh, did they? Okay, the problem is you don't go on an open stage where there's lots of metal during a big storm because it can, you can get electrocuted. Oh, yeah. Anybody remember Jimi Hendrix, folks, and his guitar? Did he get electrocuted? Yeah. Oh. And Obama has a secret plan to create jobs that involves green jobs, higher taxes, more regulations, and more stimulus spending. Oh, and actually, it's not even secret any, anymore. He's now announced that we have to, millionaires and billionaires must start paying their fair share. Of course, there's only, as they pointed out, there's only 298,000 millionaires and billionaires in the country, and if you took every penny from them, it doesn't come to Obama's trillion dollars in new taxes. And they said, the only way you can get that trillion dollars in new taxes is if you make a person making $50,000 a year a millionaire now. Mm -hmm. And oil slumps 5% and U.S. downgrade strokes stokes the economic, economy angst. Well, because nobody, okay, they figured, well, we don't have the money to go on vacation this year. Let's do staycation. They didn't go anywhere. No, go this year a, they called it a no-cation, didn't no they? No-cation. Go to a California beach on a weekend and see how many people are not there. I know, they're not even here. Well, the lifeguards are there, though. There are more lifeguards manning the beaches today than there were when the people were on the beaches, you know, a uh, hundred foot away from the water. But today, there are lifeguards everywhere. And Thom hits his 600th home run 49 minutes ago. Yeah, well, <laughs> that would be his home Okay, the problem is, is that there's a steroid taint on the guy. Oh. Yeah, you know, because they think that, uh, you know, his, his statistics are like that of, uh, of, of people that are basically are using steroids. They're not there of a guy that, uh, I mean, Babe Ruth basically, they didn't know a steroid. But Babe, Babe Ruth basically drank a lot of beer and ate a lot of hot dogs. And Lou Gehrig basically was a Puritan. You look at all these people, Ted Williams, a mean SOB, all these big home run hitters until the last decade were guys, I mean, like, uh, got one guy, uh, you know, like a Howard of the Dodgers is basically like six foot eight, and his tuba, he looked like he was kind of tuba for the plate. So these are guys that basically did it all on their own. Not with, but see, the trick is they say, well, they put such pressure on them. Well, no. If, if as we talked to a baseball player at an autograph thing once, he said, today, with my stats, I've been making $20 million a year. Mm -hmm. And very serious. He was disappointed in his team that they were handing money out to guys that hit 20 home runs a season 
and give them $15 million a year. So. Well, somebody's got the money. Yeah, at all. Uh, for, you know, for everybody's information, generally it's Democrats that own sports franchises too. Oh, I think they forgot about that. Yeah. And Google Dale boosts his shares for the third day. Yeah, well, because they're, they're basically have sold up Motorola, which means they're selling their, their they're locking up the Android market for them because uh, LG is basically having problems coming out with their equipment now, and Samsung, you know, uh, so you're going to have to deal with through Motorola. Motorola went from the tank all of a sudden to the top. Now it just makes me sit there and think, you know, because since they've got the Android market and Google, yeah. if um, they may start affecting them in other areas because LG, Samsung, those are major tech companies. Yeah. But they're having, they're not bringing out things that are, be, are being successful in the market. So, whereas Google has money behind it, the other companies are losing market share because they don't have the money. And Fed's Lockhart says U.S. recession risks have risen. Yeah, well, they see it was all over. You know, three days ago when Obama did his his, uh, as they're calling it now, the Misery America tour, the misery being all the cars were out made out of the country. All his vehicles are made out of his buses are made out of the country, and, he, and then he uh, he did a report. Did a, you know? Thank you. Know, I, I'm not getting enough credit for pulling us out of this recession. Congress, George Bush and the Republicans basically caused this problem. This uh, not only the first time, but the guy pulled us out of the depths of recession, and then they halted everything. Mm -hmm. And then you add the bad luck that I had. You know, we still will not have a double dip recession. So the day after he have opened his mouth and now all the economists are now saying that we may be in the double dip. Mm -hmm. This day after he said I brought you out of it and the recession is over. Yeah. And global food prices near three year highs. World Bank. Uh, no they haven't. No, no, no. My president said they're not there's no inflation. Really? No inflation whatsoever. And a Monty Bobolism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay that if you can't keep your lies straight, you obviously are a Republican. 